Hello everyone, it's Aria Blaze here to answer all of your questions that you have for me. So I posted in several different Facebook groups and got a bunch of different questions and I decided to compile them together. That way it'll be easier and I can do it all in one place. Alright, is everybody ready? Because, ugh, I'm not. Let's get this over with. I have this device here to help me answer these questions. Do you ever feel like Adagio and Sonata are the only ones that get the spotlight? Ugh. Do I ever? Why else do you think I have the spotlight on my face? Because I am a star. I deserve all of the love and adoration. I deserve to be in the spotlight, although nobody else seems to think that. But I, I am a lot smarter than Adagio. I'm a lot prettier than Sonata, so I don't see why what the big deal is. People just seem to overlook my genius. <sighs> Chloe asks, is it fun being part of the villains in your world? And do you plan on breaking apart from the Dazzlings and maybe make a different band or going into your own, th your own thing? First of all, what is that squiggle? What does that even mean? It's, you put a squiggle before your question mark. That's weird. But is it part being, fun being part of the villains? Well, I don't really consider myself being part of anything. I just do things on my own. It just really annoys me because Adagio never listens to me or my plans. If, if they had followed my lead and my plans, not only would we have taken over Cancelot High, but we would have taken over all of Equestria. But they didn't want to listen to me, and that's their fault. Oh, that Adagio, she never listens to me. If people followed what I have to say and listened to me for once instead of ignoring me and throwing me to the side as always, things would have gone perfectly. And yet again, here we are. I managed to escape. I don't really know where Sonata and Adagio are right now. A while ago, I got Sonata some tacos. I really didn't want to do that. Ugh, her and tacos. Do you plan on breaking apart from the Dazzlings and maybe making a different band or going into your own thing? I know Adagio is a lead singer, but I'm the one that has the most talent. I get overshadowed by Sonata's cuteness and Adagio's controlling nature. But I, in a way, I need them. I need my minions. I need them to do what I want. I need them. So I could never imagine myself being alone because... I need those people to do my dirty work for for me, so I don't necessarily have to do everything. They certainly make it a lot easier on me. Hmm. Chloe also asks, what are your thoughts on Rainbow Rocks? Is that that film that they made based off of us, where they basically followed us around in our lives? Oh, how embarrassing. That last scene where they defeated us? Oh, oh no, we don't talk about that. But the thing is, they don't know that we're back. I don't know if they even need to know that we're back. But they'll know sooner or later. <laughs> but I think, I think it was great. I think it was a great display showing what it means to be a dazzling. You've got to be beautiful, talented, a siren. I am all of those things. <laughs> What's my next question on here? Being banished, Fabian asks. Being banished to the human world over a thousand years ago, how did you manage to keep sane with Adagio and Sonata around all the time? Let me tell you, it was so hard. Because Sonata talks all the time. And whenever she opens her mouth, it's always about those stupid tacos. So annoying. She's always like, is it Taco Tuesday yet? Is it Taco Tuesday yet? And I'm like, shut up. Go back to sleep, Sonata. Because that's all she would talk about. Nadasia would only talk about herself and her hair and being the best and wanting to take over Equestria. That's the only thing we really have in common. Being stuck with them for a thousand years without any breaks was miserable. And I never, ever, ever want to go back to that ever again. Ugh. I did not manage to keep saying. Not necessarily. But here I am. If you had to pick some pony, who would you want to spend the rest of your life with? Excuse me? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me? 
Are you implying that I should stay with one of the ponies? Ugh. Disgusting. It's disgusting. No. Oh, gosh. Ugh. They're all so gross and so annoying. But if I had to choose one, who would I choose? If we're talking about the main six, and I'm pretty sure I answered a question similar to this in my original video that I made, I would pick Rainbow Dash. She's the most fierce. She doesn't put up with anybody's stuff. And I'm not going to lie. She is kind of awesome. Not as awesome as me. Obviously, I'm a lot more awesome than her. But she's still pretty cool. So I would probably say Rainbow Dash. She's got a lot of nerve and a lot of talent. Why don't we consider adding her to the Dazzlings? Hmm. Casey asks, why is Sonata happy all the time? <sighs> I like to think it's because she's hanging around me, and I'm the only person that really puts up with her stuff. I mean, she's annoying, and I think she's annoying. But nobody finds her more annoying than Adagio does. And whenever Adagio hurts her feelings, I'm the one who comforts her. It's always me. I'm the one who has to take care of everything. Everything always ends up relying on me. And nobody seems to give me any credit. But she's happy because, I don't know, I guess she just finds life exciting. I wish I could be like that sometimes, but when you're a villain, you aren't a villain without a reason. You see things. You see the cruelty in the world. And you have no choice but to be a part of it. Maybe she's seen some good things. Maybe she sees the good qualities of the main six, like the fact that they get along and they have friendship and stuff like that, which we don't have. Maybe she's just a little bit more hopeful that there's something out there besides just being evil for the sake of being evil. Or maybe it's just the tacos that make her happy. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It makes me feel good sometimes. Only sometimes. When I do something nice for Sonata. Like whenever she has her cravings and wants to go to Taco Bell and she wakes me up early in the morning, like 3 in the morning here, and she's like, Arya, Arya, I really want some tacos. And I'm like, ugh. Go back to sleep, Sonata. Desiree asks, why do you let Adagio boss you around? I wouldn't if I had a choice. She's so assertive and aggressive. She forces you, forces you to sit there and listen to what she has to say and listen to her commands. But you know, if you've seen Rainbow Rocks, which is really weird that they recorded us the entire time we were doing the whole thing with the main six, you can see that I retaliate. But she doesn't listen to anybody. Adagio's way goes. And it's disgusting. And it's annoying. It's really offensive because I have great ideas sometimes. Even uh, even Sonata has good ideas, but she just doesn't care to listen to us. I wish she wasn't so bossy. I wish people would listen to me more. But I had no other choice. I was trying to use her because I thought maybe I could be the one who ruled Equestria. Not just her with us being her two lackeys. Zach asks, will you help me defeat Discord? Who's Discord? Discord. Well, that actually sounds kind of familiar if it was a thousand years ago. Is that the goon? That weird pony, eagle, lizard, dragon, bat, mixture, mutt, whatever, creature, character, person? That Celestia and Luna banished so long ago? Why would you want to defeat him? Isn't he reformed? He's reformed. If I... <laughs> if I pick on reformed Discord... <laughs> huh, not such a bad idea. Maybe I could... redeem myself. Show that I am, in fact, the best villain that there is. Not just to be bad, but because I want to be bad. It's more fun. I'll have to think on that. I'll think on it.
Michael asks, and this is our last question, what will you do now that you're devoid of magic and popularity? Where will you go from the bottom? Excuse me? Do you not see this? This is my necklace. It may have shattered, but I may or may not have visited someone else with magical powers who could help me to restore my necklace. So I can still perform and I can still sing. <laughs> I can perform a little tidbit for you if you want. We heard you want to get together. We heard you want to rock the school. We got something that is better. Something that changes all the rules. Oh, I pretend we're all the same When some of us shine brighter Here's a chance to find your flame Are you a loser or a fighter? Me and you, you and me Why don't we see who is better? We don't have to be one and the same thing Oh, what's so wrong with a little competition? Are you afraid of failing the audition? <laughs> I still got it. I don't care about being popular. It was never about the popularity. It was about the power. I wanted to be in charge, and I'm still finding my way through. It's going to happen. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video. All right, cool. I'm not in character anymore. Um, yes, this is my Aria Boys cosplay. It took me... <sighs> Let's see. I technically started working on the costume in January, and it is April. It took me minimum three months to put this whole thing together. Um, I'll hopefully be posting pictures uh, in some Facebook groups and on my cosplay page, Serendipity Cosplay. Um, I'll be posting some pictures of my shoot there. I'm getting my pictures put together right now, so that's fun. So I have some stuff up for you guys. I'm really excited. I've, you know, I'm going to be cosplaying Aria, this cosplay, at BronyCon 2015 this summer. Hopefully on Friday. It depends on um, certain things that happen. And hopefully my friend Blue will be my Sonata. And my friend Shelby of uh, Shelbini Cosplay will be my Adagio. So it'll be really exciting. Um, but back to, um, Alicia, or Alicia, I'm sorry for butchering your name, her question, or their question, his question, um, what is it about My Little Pony Friendship is Magic that you dig? For me, personally, I love absolutely everything about My Little Pony. My favorite thing about My Little Pony is Pinkie Pie, because I relate to Pinkie Pie out of all the ponies. I love her so much, I don't even know how to explain how similar I am to her, but it's just ridiculous. I love her so much, I'm so passionate about her character. Um, this little piece is not doing the thing. Um, let's see. Like, I just relate to her so much, so I really, really love her. I love the colors. I love how beautiful the animation is, just the shapes, the styles, the imagery, the characters, the characterization, the character development, the music, the episodes, the lessons. There are still, you know, episodes of the, of the show, and there are certain lessons involved within that, like, apply to me on a daily basis like it's it helps me it's a really really big deal and it applies to adults too um i'm trying to think what else do i really like about the show i love the fandom content there are a lot of bronies that really really irritate me with their certain kinds of content and i'm like bro stop this is a kid show bro stop you are ruining the image of what this is supposed to be about um it's a little irritating i uh but there's a lot of things that they create, like the fan art and the music, the comics, everything. There's a lot of just creative contribution, a lot of charity, lots of kindness, lots of social networking. You know, like we're a really connected community, and I love that. And I love that about the fan base that is involved with My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So, yeah. This is so weird to think that this is my second official pony cosplay. I've only cosplayed Pinkie Pie up until this point. I've cosplayed my own version of Pinkie Pie. I've done... Equestria Girls Pinkie Pie, I've done it her twice. I did her once and then I did her again, which is my most recent version of her. She's definitely heavily updated. And I've done um, Rainbow Rocks Pinkie Pie, which I need more pictures of. And I've done Chicken Pinkie Pie from the Halloween episode because it's flu flu. She's so floofy. It's wonderful.
anyway um, that's my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate your participation and everything. I probably will be doing this again soon. I might be doing a character video like this for Princess Luna, and maybe for Pinkie Pie. Um, I guess I might like make a post and ask to see which you guys, which one you guys prefer to see more. Uh, I'm pretty sure people are gonna say Princess Luna, but we'll just we'll we'll see. Prove me wrong. Um, I have no objections. I'm still putting together my Princess Luna cosplay for Brownie Con, so hopefully I'll be able to, like, whip that out really fast because <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. And I'll be doing Gala Pinkie Pie. So this is one of my costumes, Gala Pinkie Pie and Princess Luna. So all new costumes, which is really fun, really exciting, and really nerve-wracking for me. Mm, pop the collar. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I love you all. Thank you for participating. Have a good one. Bye!